the Sports Medicine and Education Index. Brought to you by California State University San Bernardino's John M. Fowle Library. To find this database, start on the library's website. Scroll down and click the Choose a Database button. This takes you to the list of more than 150 databases that we offer, and they're divided up into large subject areas. For this demonstration, I'm going to choose the Kinesiology section. And on the list of databases recommended for Kinesiology, Sports Medicine and Education Index is the second one. Just click on the title and use your My Coyote login to access the database. I'm going to enter my keyword search. And click in the box for peer reviewed. I've got 992 results. I'm going to have to refine this search. Now notice that this database adds little extras around your keyword search. Don't let that throw you off. This is just the database's way of keeping track of what you're asking for. All right, well, I'm going to try swapping out disabled for a more specific keyword. Wheelchair. And I'll rerun that search. Well, it's uh, only 771 results now. I think I got a little more work here. Okay, so next I'm going to come up and leave a space and put in another keyword. And run the search again. And I'm getting there. 205 results. Now I'm going to use some of the built-in options in the database to further narrow my search. I've already selected peer-reviewed. And I can click on scholarly journals. And I can enter, enter a date range. I can only get so precise with the first range that comes up for me. So after I update that once, I'll go back to the date range and adjust it some more. Okay, and I can make one more selection here. Document Type, and I'm going to choose Article. So now I only have 54 results to deal with. What are we seeing here in this list? We're seeing the title of an article, the authors, the title of the journal, the volume, the date, and the pages. We're seeing a little section of the abstract or summary here with highlighted keyword terms. And down below, we've got some controls. And I apologize, my screen is a little bit small. That's why these are kind of overlaying each other there. So we've got two types of full text, HTML and PDF. And these controls here relate to what you'll find on the more detailed page. I'm going to click on the title and go to that detailed page. So repeat it again here. You find the title of the article, the authors, the journal, the volume, the date, the pages, and down below the HTML full text, the PDF full text. If you just want to take a quick look you can click here on the abstract and details 
And in this database, this is a valuable screen for revising your keyword searches. You can scan the abstract for other keywords that you may not have thought of. And you also get access to the official subject headings that have been assigned to this article. When a subject heading is assigned to an article, you know for sure that that article contains significant content on that subject term. And you'll notice that these are links. If you wanted to do it, you could just click on Kinematics and launch a whole new search for that topic. But I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> And the last tab is the references for the article. References refers to the list of articles, the citations for those articles, that these authors read and used in their research when they wrote their article. And this is a great way to find more things on your topic. And in this database, if there's a link you might get that full text. All right, and I'm going to back up here. Let's take a look at one of the other ones. Let's look at number five. We're seeing the same kind of information here, but now we've got this blue button, search for full text. This is a system that we paid extra for that overlays all of our 150 databases that gets you the maximum amount of full text possible. And what it's telling you when you see that pop up is that the full text is not in this database, but if you click on that button, you will launch an automatic search to find it no matter where it is. Let's give it a try. And we go to a screen where we have a link to the journal where we can get that full text. I want to show you one more feature of this database. Let me go back. Notice the little click boxes here on the side. As you do your review your search, you can click in the box for anything that you like. and then go to your folder. And once you click on your folder, you've got the things that you've been marking, and you can cite them. And you have a choice of different styles here, way more than you probably could use. But there's good old APA. I think, oh, we're up to the seventh here, yeah seventh version. And whenever you're using these automatically generated citations for your papers, please give them a good look before you turn in your paper. Uh, these are automatically generated, as I said. They may contain errors because uh, it's just a computer that's doing this. Okay. And you can print save and email from the same folder. And if you are going to email these things, we'll pretend that we're going to email them. Again, you get the choice, if you click in that little box right there, of the citation format. And then just send it to the email address that you want. And do keep in mind that if you want that full text, and you're doing it this way through the database Sports Medicine and Education Index. In this example, you'll get the full text of number two because it's right in this database. But remember, we had to go to a different database to get the, uh, the full text for this article. So the only thing that you would get here is the detailed screen that we were looking at before. But sometimes that's enough to keep track of where you've been. The end. Thank you for watching and good luck with your research.